I wanted to start by asking, is the president aware of the comments that Donald Trump made yesterday about American Jews uh, basically saying that they're ungrateful and they'd better get their act together, appreciate what they have before it's too late? Given that the White House weighed in pretty uh, forcefully last week to the racist comments by the Los Angeles City Council members, would the White House um, denounce uh, these anti-Semitic comments by the former president as well? So Donald Trump's comments were anti-Semitic, as you all know, and insulting, both to Jews and to our Israeli allies. But let's be clear, for years, for years now, Donald Trump has aligned with extremists and anti-Semitic figures. And it should be, it should be called out, to your point, Darlene, just like we called out our Democratic uh, friends and colleagues last week. And we will condemn and call this out as well. So we need to root out anti-Semitism everywhere. It rears its ugly head. We need to call this out. With respect to Israel, our relationship is ironclad, and it's rooted in shared values and interests. Donald Trump clearly doesn't understand that either. Okay. Uh, just to follow up on that, it was announced earlier today that the rapper formerly known as Kanye West wants to buy the, cons the conservative social media platform Parler. Um, and this comes after he was kicked off of Twitter and Instagram last week for his own set of anti-Semitic comments. Is the White House or the President concerned that uh, should this sale go ahead and that Ye be allowed to buy this platform, that it would give him a, another venue for anti-Semitic comments, hateful comments, with no, you know, no gatekeeper, no one to say that's wrong or anything like that? So as you know, when it comes to these types of purchases uh, or agreements, I can't speak to that. Um, so that's not something, the actual you know, uh, agreement or inter interaction, I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is hateful rhetoric. What I can speak to uh, is insulting rhetoric. When I can't, what I can't speak, can speak to is anti-Semitism, which is hateful, it is dangerous, uh, and uh, we are going to continue to condemn that type of language because at the end of the day, it is disgusting. And it is, there is no room, absolutely no room, no place in our political discourse to be having that type of really vile uh, conversation or comments being made.